guys, Julian Mikkel here, back with another uh, video. Um, I'm here and I've spent the day here in Cognac at the Hennessy in the heart of the Cognac uh, production uh, area with one of the most famous of all Cognac houses. And I am with my host, uh, Maxime, and uh, Maxime wanted me uh, to discover uh, more about how to taste cognac, how to serve cognac, and I thought it was a great opportunity uh, to share expertise and knowledge on how to serve uh, cognac. And uh, this will also be an opportunity to try and taste the different uh, products uh, that the Hennessy um, distillery makes. I've seen it today, there is so much passion, knowledge, expertise, um, so much effort made uh, and, and put into making this product. Um, you certainly have to give it some time to taste it properly and uh, make sure you serve it the right way as well. So Maxime, thank you very much for having us and uh, for hosting us uh, today and for, for sharing your knowledge. You're welcome, Jean. That's a great pleasure to have you here. <clears throat> so let, let, let's get into tasting and, and first of all, so you know I come from a wine uh, background. Um, and I'm not 100% sure I'm very familiar with how to taste and how to serve uh, cognac properly as opposed to a, a wine, for example. Yes. So first, it really depends on the, the occasion, I'd say. If you want to truly analyze the cognac and understand it, this kind of glass, the tulip-shaped glass, is just perfect. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to do is to take a look at the color. So just take a few seconds. So here you have a nice color that you could call, I'd say, golden amber. And this color is due to the long maturation process of the eau de vie composing the cognac. So we have the VS here? That's right, and very special. VS, very special. So that's the most enjoyed cognac all around the world and it's mm -hmm. perfect for any occasion, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Neat, maybe on the rocks as an aperitif for uh, even in cocktails with some, um, I'd say, tonic water or ginger ale. Mm -hmm. Next step, you can grab the glass and place it, let's say, around here. Well, mm -hmm. close enough to, to get the first notes. Yeah. And this very special, it's quite fruity. Maybe you can get some grapey notes, some kind of citrus too. Yeah, yeah it certainly smells like, like grapes, fresh grapes, maybe a bit of raisin. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the first part of the, the spinning part, let's say. And so that's the difference between cognac and wine. Uh, you wouldn't stick your nose into the glass as you no, 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 as it's, it's way more powerful, strong. yeah. But then what you can do, you can gently swirl it like this and place it back a bit closer to the nose. And now maybe you can get other notes, maybe some kind of, uh, I'd say, toasted almonds. And even some kind of, um, you know, like, um, I'd say creme brulee or some kind of vanilla, things that can remind you of vanilla. Yeah, there's certainly some vanilla, a bit complex, a bit of cinnamon, clove, quite a wide spectrum of uh, sweet spices. Yes, yeah. and that's what makes our cognac so uh, great to, to enjoy, I'd say. And next, well, you're going to taste it. So first, take a small sip so the tasting buds get used to the 40% of alcohol, and then you can take another one to fully appreciate the cognac. Okay. So first, very small, yes. as small a sip as possible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that <coughs> coats your palate with uh, oaky, fruity, citrusy, orange peel. It's like a, a fruit, dried fruit pudding of some sort. Um, kind of, yeah. yeah. A lot of fruits. So the first step prepares your palate for the, the real taste. And that's it. So now the palate is ready, if I can say. So you can have another one and try to recognize all the different sensations and aromas. And this cognac, very special, is quite, mm, I'd say, fruity, but quite lively as well. So that's why it's a perfect cognac to be enjoyed on the rocks, for example. That's not a thing that a lot of people know, but are very special. It's perfect for any occasion, on the rocks or even in cocktails, you know, if you like to mix ingredients to get. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's got the complexity and the, the power, the oakiness. Uh, it's quite smoky as well, but it's also pungent and, and quite focused fair amount of tension and power. Um, 
so you can you can sense how yeah a bit of ice maybe would yeah. relax it a little bit and, and make the ex the experience a little more relaxed. In the, That's it. The oil. ice would lessen the strength of the cognac, and it yeah. would also develop other notes and other uh, characteristics. So that would be for another occasion, of course, yeah. and you would go maybe for. Uh, a cocktail glass, for example, and that would yeah. be yeah for another occasion, maybe with friends. So on this this type of cognac, um, yeah, you can put it on ice. Is that is that? Do you ever recommend to add uh, water? Uh, I mean, of water. You know, there is no right or wrong way to enjoy the cognac. So if you want to add just a, um, yeah um, a dash of water, you can. If you want to place an ice cube, go for it. If you want to mix it with ginger ale. Go for it. So especially on that. Uh, yeah, this kind of, of, type of very special product. cognac. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when it comes to water, uh, no tap, right? Water, right? Yeah, you spring, would go for pure water. water. Yeah, spring water. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what else have we got? So then we've got the most emblematic cognac of our collection. It is Hennessy Exo Extra Old. So this cognac was first blended back in 1870, almost 150 years ago. And it's a cognac that is just unique and very round. Yeah, I, I've been uh, wanting to uh, to taste EXO and explore EXO uh, here in Cognac for, for quite a long time, so I'm super, super excited. And uh, so what, what is this tool that uh, you have? For so this is called a fusil, or voleur, thief. Okay. And this was created to reproduce the movement of the master blender when he picks sample of eau de vie from the barrel. And that's the traditional way to serve this XO here and at Chateau de Bagnolet. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our uh, well, chateau. And there you go. You're welcome. Alors, we said first the color. So, do you know any difference with the very special? Mm. Does it seem... Yeah, it's certainly darker, more golden, more amber. I would go for amber. more amber. I'd say deeper, darker, amber. deeper. Yeah. So this darker color is due to a different maturation process. Mm -hmm. So here the eau de vie we selected to enter the blend of the XO, they started their maturation process in new barrels. Okay. And new barrels intensified the color of each of them. Okay. And so how old, how, so EXO stands for extra old? Obviously. That's it. So how, how, how old is it? So it's a blend of different... Uh, all the Hennessy Cognacs are the result of blends of yeah. eau de vie. So how do you summarize the age of the EXO? So according to French legislation, to bear the name EXO, the youngest eau de vie has to be 10. ten but again, old. that's a I tough mean, question, I'd say, as we go for blends, we can't sure. say that. But the youngest brandy in the blend or cognac in the blend would be 10 years old. That's it. And over. And what, how old would be the, the, the oldest? Well, that's the secret of the master blender and that committee. <laughs> All right. Let's try to find out. Yeah. Tasting it. Uh, one question. Does, does it smell different? Yeah, it smells much riper. Mm -hmm. uh, much deeper as well. So we were saying grapes and maybe a little bit of raisin. On the VS, it's definitely more on the raisin and, and figs, uh, dried, ripe fruits, more caramel. Yeah, so you can easily get some uh, candied fruits. Candied fruit. There's um, also a bit of, um, of cocoa, mm -hmm. you know. And you, you talked about creme brulee uh, on the VS, but I'm definitely getting this here. The creme brulee, the uh, creme brulee aromas. The caramel. Maybe the vanilla reminds vanilla you of this dessert. Topping, yeah. And then, if you swirl it gently again, and I revealed its complexity, maybe you can get some spices, some kind of uh, black pepper, maybe. Yeah, there is a lifted element, mm. so it's all very sweet and, and charming, but there is a lifted element, maybe pepper, yeah. yeah. So it's, a, it's such a, a complex and unique cognac, I guess the best way to understand it is to, is to taste it. So. So that. Quite different, no? <clears throat> much more opulent, yes. much, much bigger. 
um, the body is super super round why there was a tension in the VS and the sort of warmth this is all about roundness and smoothness on the palette yeah actually roundness and smoothness of, the, the finish is just really explosive but always elegant and, and refined so what, what, what sort of um, characters do you do find in well. so well, this ink so could be defined by its roundness, its smoothness. Mm -hmm. It's quite um, intense as well with the spicy side on the palette. And so it's way more persistent than very special. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely the, the emblematic cognac of our collection. Mm -hmm. So perfect as you can see for an after dinner drink, as the traditional digestive, but you can also enjoy it on the rocks as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe during summer nights, when you want to start uh, well, the, the dinner with your friends, you pour some XO, an ice cube, like a big one, that will take time to dilute. Okay. And again, it will reveal the complexity and the harmony okay. of the blend. So a bit of ice, still a bit of ice in the XO? Yes. Yeah. This won't uh, destroy it or just... No, as this cognac is very, it's very complex, the ice won't affect it. Affect it too no. much. Okay. Wonderful. It's great to know. But uh, no, no mixing, right? You wouldn't normally. I wouldn't. Blend. I wouldn't go for wouldn't mix uh, a cocktail. Yeah. Okay. Have you, have you tried, or is, it, is there any particular cocktails that do work well with EXO or? Cognac cocktail, or so I've heard since I'm here about the the summit, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of a new trendy uh, cocktail. Um, and for the mixology, I would go for cognacs that are very special in VSOPs. Yeah. They are great for this occasion. But XO, XO, I would go neat uh, or on the rocks, or, or maybe you can try um, a tea rock. So you make tea. Depends, like uh, black tea, green tea, jasmine, orange blossom, the, the one you, you like. Make tea, you place it into molds, place the mold in the freezer, and the next day you have nice tea rocks. And when the tea, well, the tea rock is going to melt down, it will kind of uh, blend with the XO and it will create a, an experience, a unique tasting experience. Okay, great. So next, we are going to taste um, another cognac of our collection, Hennessy Paradis. So that's a cognac that is very rare and very unique. Yeah, yeah so. thanks for bringing this up. Well. And to serve this Paradis, well, we use dark glove and also we kind of change the glasses. So still you can recognize the tulip shaped glass that is perfect to uh, analyze a cognac. Sure. And also these ones, they are made of crystal, because that's the, the purest way to enjoy mm -hmm. Paradis. Yeah. Tell us about the, the Paradis, what, how it's made and what's uh, unique about it, what's different, uh, what is the style that is uh, look, looked for uh, by the blender. Alors, Paradis is a cognac that was first blended back in 1979 and it was created by Monsieur Maurice Filiou, not the former, but the former master blender of uh, Maison Hennessy. And to blend this cognac, he used eau de vie that were chosen by his grandfather, so already kind of uh, old and uh, exceptional eau de vie. So you are going to, to taste it and you'll see on the palate it's different from it, so that's another experience. The nose has nothing to do with Ixo, that's way more refined, I'd yeah. say, maybe elegant. Elegant, yeah, in the sense that the, the spectrum of flavor is both more complex, there's a lot more notes to the spectrum, uh, but they're all also very flat and balanced, and, that's, and that gives you a sense of refinement because no. Even though there are many, many aromas, they, no, no, none of them overpowers the other. So it's, it's all like very, very well complex. balanced. I find also it's a lot more floral uh, to the nose. Um, yes. Much, and that, that gives more 
elegance as well um, because it's a bit less on the fruit more I mean there is a lot of fruit but it's also very floral so uh, I mean I don't know if you can get the, the different nuts on the nose maybe you can get some jasmine yes some kind of uh, honeysuckle mm -hmm. rose too and there is like um, a bit of honey kind of yeah, yeah kind of sweet agree. also yeah. the while well, the XO was more on the caramel rich caramel creme brulee this I find a bit of caramel, but more on the blonde, blonde caramel and, and honey, as you said. So very subtle, very, I don't know, there's something really special there. And here there is a word that we use to describe this paradis, that's roundness. So you're going to taste it and you'll see the sensation on the palate that the cognac covers all the different parts of you it. say brown, brownness? Roundness. Roundness, yeah. Sorry. And even the, um, the sensation on the palate, Ixo was kind of smooth, but Paradis mm -hmm. is, I'd say, silky, mm -hmm. kind of floating yeah. in the air, kind of. It's definitely a um, silky, granulous, but super fine, silky texture. And tasting it, <coughs> it feels full and, and complete. Uh, a lot of vibrancy, power, it's powerful, but it's got it feels like it's got the freshness and the, and the power and the, the vibrancy somewhat of the VS even though it's a lot more complete and, and deeper but also the depth and the complexity of the EXO all in one very very well balanced and uh, very punchy so there is yeah it feels young and old and, and it's uh, kind of really complete and whole just a unique cognac for, I'd say, a great moment. You know, when you want to have a, a moment for yourself, kind of a me moment, as we could call them, this cognac is just perfect. Super long, extremely complex. Like It's okay, it's got this cigar, cigar box, so you can imagine having this with a, a cigar if, if, uh, if, you want, if you like one. Um, yeah, and uh, in terms of food pairing, what would go well with uh, with, with with paradis, or is it, is it something to have uh, by itself, or would you recommend? Again, it depends on it depends on your taste. If you want to enjoy it with some food, well, go for something you like. I would suggest to have it neat, just to truly enjoy it. Yeah. Well, Maxime, thank you. Thank you very much. It was an amazing day here at Hennessy. Uh, you do offer some um, distillery tours and, and immersion into the, the Hennessy universe and how it's made. And, and you can see and you can witness the bar rooms. And uh, there's, there's a very nice museum that explains the whole process as well. Um, so yeah, if you come over to Cognac, uh, it's a great, great experience. And maybe Maxime will be uh, the one. Uh, welcoming you here. So, thank you, Maxime. You're uh, welcome, Julien. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, enjoy our paradis. Cheers. Cheers.